Hello everyone. Um, in last two tutorials, I showed you how uh, you can use Metasploit to um, exploit certain vulnerabilities. Uh, we did use uh, the vulnerability with BSFTPD and we also did use Unreal IRC. Both of those vulnerabilities were uh, part of our Metasploit machine and um, we managed to exploit uh, both of those vulnerabilities. Uh, now, um, I think some of you may think that uh, using Metasploit was um, uh, was a bit more complicated in a sense that you had to remember a few steps, you had to remember a few commands, uh, but definitely anyone will expect you to remember that if you are um, thinking of uh, taking or working at a security industry. Anyways, there is a, a easier tool which works uh, based on Metasploit framework and this tutorial is all about introduce you to that easier tool called Armitage. Armitage is not a different tool. It will absolutely work based on Metasploit. It will use the Metasploit um, exploits, whatever the um, um, codes we have within Metasploit, it will be using that. Um, uh, so I will take you through the Armitage today. It is much easier to use, uh, mostly the command prompt. Uh, even if you don't know much about Metasploit, probably you still can use Armitage up to a certain extent. Uh, however, you will have to learn some uh, Linux commands at least. Otherwise, um, once you exploit a machine, uh, whatever you do, most of the cases, you do it by using command prompt. So you will have to learn uh, Linux uh, command. Now, let's start uh, talking about Armitage. Now, as I said, Armitage works on Metasploit. Uh, I hope you remember, we need to have a service running PostgreSQL on our uh, machine. Um, to run Metasploit. Without having that service running, we cannot uh, run Metasploit. If we cannot run Metasploit, we cannot run Armitage either. So, first of all, I'll start in running this uh, Postgres SQL service. Now, Armitage uh, will collect the information about the exploits from a database which is Metasploit database. Previously, we did not create a database. When I showed you those two tutorials, what I did, I uh, just searched for a uh, exploit and um, it took quite long to find out those uh, particular exploits like BSFTPD. If you remember that I used the command search space BSFTPD. However, when you are trying to use uh, Armitage, you need to have Metasploit database setup. Uh, quite simple, I will be using a command msfdb uh, init and this will set up a database. So when I did uh, run this command, it's saying a database appears to be already configured because I just did run that command um, a minute ago. <coughs> Excuse me. But for you, when you run it for the first time, then uh, it will take uh, it will take a while. Just type the command msfdb init. That will create a whole Metasploit database. So what we have done so far is uh, we started this service. Sorry, we started um, post. A GraceSQL service and we started, um, we created a database MFF, uh, msfdb um, I need uh, by using this command. So when you are ready with these two things, you click on Armitage and that's where our whole Armitage uh, adventure starts. Now Armitage wants to connect to your Metasploit uh, database. Now we do have uh, Metasploit database in our local machine. So this is the IP address of our local host. If your Metasploit database was in a different machine, then you give the IP address of that machine. Whatever the port your Metasploit database is using, for us, this is the default port, what has been used by Metasploit database. So we'll leave it here. Uh, there is a default user msf password will be there so we just click on connect and 
now Armitage will try to connect to the meta exploit. Uh, very first error message you will see here like this a meta exploit RPC server is not running and it will ask you do you want this program to run it you just say yes and it will start running that service this is not a difficult um, process anyways now it is continually uh, trying to connect to the meta exploit server and you will see this message connection refused don't bother about that um, so maybe a few times you will keep seeing that connection refuse uh, just ignore it that's fine uh, so when Armitage runs successfully you will see a screen like this probably you will see some computers here but that's different scenario uh, well I can see some computers simply because I did run a screen uh, previously and a result from that scan is here when you run it for the first time please bear in mind you will not see any of these computers so what you want to do first of all you just imagine that you have run Armitage and you don't know uh, which are the computers you have within this network your target network so very fast you want to do a little discovery so you click on host and uh, see you have nmap scan all the nmap scanning you did previously by running the command you can do that nmap scanning here as well uh, you can import host you can add a particular host uh, dns enumeration i believe you have done something like that for me i will make it very simple i'm just clicking on msf scans msf scan is okay i will explain you in a minute uh, msf scan will ask you to give a range so i'm giving a range of the ip addresses i have in this network let's say 24 this is the ip range i have here you may have a different ip range on your target network uh, but this is uh, my range clicking on ok now lots of things happening when those things are happening i will quickly take you through the msf uh, scan msf scan is a um, kind of a big package put together by using number of uh, meta exploit exploits so meta exploit knows what are the exploits available meta exploit knows how to use those exploits and msf scan uh, has put together considering those known exploits when i'm running this meta um, um, msf scan see uh, one of the things we did with our uh, network discovery we asked go through with all the open ports and find out what's going on on uh, each of those open ports same thing is happening here when you are doing msf scan so it's trying to uh, go through with every single IP address look at this we have 0 0.9 this is our meta exploit target machine and it has identified is uh, port 22 TCP port which is open uh, some of the information you can see here but many other information has been taken into consideration uh, and attached to these pieces so if you leave it for certain time um, Armitage will go through with every um, PC you have within that IP range and will list everything here uh, now let's uh, it is still continuing um, let me see if I can okay let's see what we have here so this was our uh, target PC. This was the meta exploitable machine, which had most of the vulnerabilities. Um, this is my uh, Windows machine. Uh, doesn't have that many vulnerabilities. So I just want to show you the uh, meta exploitable machine. What you can do with this? When you see all of these machines, you can go to individual machine and then you can say, um, 
find attacks so what i did uh, let's say i think this is the first machine where i want to attack uh, what i want to try you just select this machine click on attack and then you can say find attacks when you do that it will start checking this particular machine only it will go through with every open port um, every other vulnerabilities available within this machine and then it will simply uh, give you a list of what you could do with this machine which is great because if uh, you are using um, metasploit manually you will have to be uh, quite an expert to know what are the uh, vulnerabilities available how could you exploit it what are the options you need to go through so quite a, a few things to consider that's the best way of doing so but when you are um, a, a ethical hacker or pen tester in beginning level probably this will give you a bit more advantage so when that analysis is complete it will give you this message attack analysis complete it will also say that uh, you will now see an attack menu attached to each host uh, to the target window so after it has gone through with all the possible attacks it's just added you uh, a menu so if i click on ok here and this time um, i will right click on this if i go to attack and see it has given me a long list of so many different attacks which is possible for example you should remember this one bsftpd what we did uh, on our uh, one of our tutorial and you should remember this as well unreal irc another uh, attack we did on one of uh, the other tutorial see um, it took quite a while for us to uh, investigate and to find out certain exploits and to use those exploits but by using Armitage you simply got a long list even many of these we haven't used it at all now we can try to use uh, each of them I will show you the difference so uh, this is the target machine what I did again taking you through the process clicked on target machine clicked on attack and said find attacks after finding the attacks now I can go here and I can see all the attacks but if I take you to another machine right click see there is no attacks nothing like that because uh, we haven't asked Armitage to find anything for this machine yet going back to this machine now we have number of attacks there let me take you through one of those attack what is familiar to us VFS TPD if I click on this it will give you some information that um, localhost is this so localhost is our Kali machine IP address was uh, 192.168.0.8 remote host was 192.168.0.9 if you remember when we were using uh, metasploit msf console we did set it up by using the command set space our host space this ip address now armitage has taken it uh, by default um, automatically so when you are ready you think these are the right information you click on launch and uh, okay so something is happening down there let me try to make it a bit bigger and command shell session one opened this is the machine from where we are going to this machine 09 is our target machine and we are in let me show you a few more things so once you have um, you know, selected a machine you could say find attacks after finding the attacks you can go by uh, individual attack and you can try um, different things some of these will give you full access some of these will give you partial access but sometimes you want to do crazy things sometimes you need to do crazy things if you go if you select a machine here and you go to hail mary that's a uh, that could be a disaster for any target machine hail mary is 
um, the option where you are asking uh, Metasploit to try each and every single possible attacks Metasploit knows uh, to run on that machine. So uh, this could be a very good one when your uh, target is to uh, run a denial of service attack, destroy a machine for whatever the reason is. By running Hail Mary, uh, we'll simply uh, start checking all the exploits. Some of those will just give you access. Some of those will be worse. Some of those uh, could try to destroy things. Uh, but that's the uh, Hail Mary attack. Not many people will be using it. And it is not strongly suggested that you use that either. Because uh, by using Hail Mary, if you are using uh, if you are working as pen tester, one of your objective will be to hide uh, yourself and uh, to, to have the access, uh, keep having the access. By using Hail Mary, not necessarily you can do that. Um, anyways, sometimes if you need to run everything, uh, try to do the maximum attack within short period of time, you just click on Hail Mary. When you do that, it will just ask you this question, really? Uh, and it will also explain you that um, uh, Metasploit will try all different exploits. So are we sure you want to do that? If you do, then just click on yes. Uh, and then let's see what happens to that PC. I don't want to do that because I need to keep using it for a bit longer. Thank you all. I will see you on next tutorial.